is about celebrating the achievements of four decades of Wilderness Society campaigning. It's also a call to action. Bob, uh, 1976, Liffey, your place. There's a meeting of conservationists who decide to set up the Wilderness Society. Everything was in place for a much bigger focused organisation. We had Eric Rees on the rampage criticising environmentalists right, left and centre. Another meeting was set for August in Hobart which officially got Tasmanian Wilderness Society as it was then and through the Franklin campaign established and uh, I think we had a two dollar membership fee and within a year surprisingly enough had 400 members so off it went and that meeting included people like Helen G and Bob Graham who'd been down the Jane River on Lilo's that year. Paul Smith and I had been down the Franklin in these new fangled one-person rafts. So it was a, a getting together of people who realised what a fabulous wild river country this was and knew the threat was coming. And as a result, a particular sticker was born. We were trying to find a simple, very short slogan, but it all came down to no dams. And I was very worried because that's a negative message and I wanted a positive like uh, protect the wilderness. However, no dams fitted into the triangle provided you turned it around. And that's what happened. Not long after, a little old lady on the east coast came up to me and said, Dr Brown, the thing I like about your no dam slogan, it's so positive. <laughs> so there you go. That's been our experience. Speaking of positive energy, we've put together this book to celebrate the history of the Wilderness Society and the campaigns that it's run for so many beautiful, spectacular places across Australia. The cover, Rock Island Bend, this became the public face of the Franklin River itself. Well, of course it's by Peter Dombrovskis, who had no peer, I don't think, around the world. They couldn't dispute this was going to be completely obliterated by the Gordon Blow Franklin Dam. He allowed the Wilderness Society to take that picture and make it central to the campaign which saved this great wild river, established the Wilderness Society as a national entity and gave impetus for the saving of so many other wonderful places around this beautiful country of ours. So the World Heritage listing and campaign that saved the Franklin then became a tool for saving other wilderness areas across Absolutely. Australia. Yeah, through this great organisation, Australia's such a better place than it was back then. I think this is the best wilderness book I've ever picked up and everybody should have one. Not just to see what's been saved, but to in, be inspired to be there in the coming years and decades. <laughs>